Hello, my name is Alejandro Tiana. I am professor of theory and history of education at the National Distance Teaching University of Spain, and I am currently the rector of the university. Together with two colleagues, uh, also professor of theory and history of education of the University of Valencia and vice rector of that university, and professor Paula, Paulo Diaz, uh, professor of uh, education and rector of the Open University of Portugal, we are editing a number, a volume, number 51, of a journal Comunicar. And the issue is uh, e-innovation in higher education. And we would like to invite you to send us papers for this volume to be published in 2017. The rationale for editing such a volume is that universities are experiencing a lot of changes uh, in the last decade, and especially in connection with implementation of the European higher education area. Among those changes, I want to underline two of them. The first one is the shift from an education center around teaching to an education center around learning. And the second one, is the approach to competency-based learning. Both of them are really significant changes for all universities in Europe, but also outside Europe. These changes have been possible because we have developed recently new methodologies for learning. It is not just that we have developed new technologies, this ICT changing every day, but that they have been able to promote innovation in the way we learn, in the way we use them to learn and to make our students learn. These methodologies are really important, but also provoke a lot of challenges for universities. Uh, one of these challenges is, uh, well, are we able really to use this ICT and these methodologies to innovate in learning? And are our teachers really prepared, ready for use them in a productive way? And have we developed good practices in using methodologies for learning? These are some of the questions we would like to address in the volume. And another change for universities is not only to change the way in which students learn, but also how universities can contribute to the development of a digital society. So it's a broader challenge than just teaching and learning. And this also affects the way in which universities do govern ourselves, that is, to our governance system, and also to the way in which we address our social responsibility. So these are also questions to be addressed, and we would like people to address them in that volume. As you may see, there are a lot of questions at different levels really crucial for redefining the role and operation of universities and in general of higher education institutions. That's why we would like to invite you all to contribute to this volume. I think that the number of issues, the number of questions, the number of challenges deserve to be addressed in an academic way through studies, research pieces and so on to contribute to the development of e-innovation in universities. Thanks.